All right, back at it. Um, I'm just going to hop right back into Vertigo. Um, it's a little bit of a slower moving game, uh, but the story is getting very interesting. So we'll go ahead and dive back into it, see what's going on. All right. Lots of loading screens. That is a little bit annoying on this game, but it definitely wasn't made or optimized for the PlayStation 5. That's clear to me. But like I said, the story's getting really interesting. Um, but it is it does move slowly. Maybe it'll pick up a little bit later on. Let's just dive right back in. <laughs> oh, not today. You're the most loyal person I've ever met. Doctor? It's Sheriff Reyes. Doctor? Sorry to bother you this late, but... Were you the one texting me? <laughs> I sent you a few messages on the way, but... Uh... Ah, it was you. Are you feeling all right, Sheriff? It's late, I know. We were looking for Esther Franklin until just now. Did you find anything? There's still hope. I'm... I'm sorry about this morning. And you know I don't want to put your career on the line, but... I'd really like you to know what I found out about Ed Miller. There's a really pretty lookout near here. We could discuss this. I'm telling you, it's bad news. The gun, the bottle, his connection to the Franklins, the whole implausible story about the... Like I was saying, there are too many signs, huh? I'm not saying he's guilty, it's just... It's hard to see it any other way. Don't you think, Doctor? There's one just like it in my favorite movie. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. 
I can't say I'm a movie buff myself. No. It's incredible to think that the tree was already 300 years old here. That it died here. And that we've only been here about this much. Here, no, a year later, I was at a protest march. The police charged us. I fell. Uh, L.A., right? Did they crush you? Three knee operations. What were you doing at the time? I don't know. Patrol during the day to make a buck. Study at night to be a sheriff. I was born about here. You? About the same. What were you doing that day? Do you remember? <sighs> sure. I woke up at 6.30, like I do every day. Turn on the radio while I shaved and uh, the second plane had just hit. I remember looking in the mirror, not recognizing myself, not my face. My hands, my bathroom, none of it. I took care of people with similar symptoms during those weeks. Two thousand sixteen. <laughs> I became sheriff. Congratulations. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Two thousand and sixteen. All right. I didn't know what I was getting myself into either. <laughs> Did you become sheriff too? <laughs> I fell in love. Ah, <laughs> damn. Of course. Sorry. I have to insist. I know Miller is hiding something. He's lying. To lie, you have to be aware that you're lying. Nice one. But Miller knows exactly what he's doing. He only has trouble remembering certain things. Things that you do remember. I, I, I don't understand. I know you're hiding something. What do I have to do with this? Your romance with Ed's mother. In the early 90s, you did a little more than just work and study to be sheriff. It's slow. I never told anybody. Maybe it's time you talked about it. We were inseparable as kids. I spend more time at her house, the one you've been to, than my own. In high school, <laughs> everyone thought we were dating. <laughs> then she went to school in San Francisco. We'd meet up some weekends, until one summer, she came back arm in arm with John Miller. We didn't see each other for years. It would have been five or six when we ran into each other and uh, started meeting. A coffee, a walk, dinner, a motel. Later, pregnant with Jenny, she distanced herself from me. I thought the girl had helped her marriage, that she was happy. I'm assuming flashback time. Fucking happiness.
She's a beautiful girl. Isn't she? Beautiful and a bottomless pit. You'd gobble your mummy right up, wouldn't you? Thanks for coming after all this time. How have you been? Work and school take up all my time. I'm sorry. I didn't want Jenny to grow up in a broken home. Or Eddie. I understood back then. And I still do. You owe it to your kids. I felt guilty. John deserved a chance. I thought the baby... I was wrong. Is he still drinking? He's burying me alive. What did he do? If he touched a single hair... Report him, and I'll make sure you get a restraining order. I'm going to leave him. I... I'm gonna tell him next week. It's your decision, but... Be careful. He could get physical. I have to tell him. I can't just... Just take... His son away from him without at least... Jenny is yours. Take her. She's got something in her hand. Oh, get it, will you? Gently. He leaves stuff everywhere. See? She has your eyes. And he... doesn't suspect anything? Since the very beginning. How do you know she's not... John's? You've never tried to sleep with someone after you've downed a bottle of whiskey, have you? <laughs> well... What am I saying? You're ready for water after half a beer. Come with me. The three of you. Let's take it slowly. I can't risk custody. That was the last time I saw them alive. Was it you who found them? I wanted to kill that son of a bitch, but he took that away from me too.
we know that didn't happen. Oh wait, maybe it did. Is that why he's got the scar on his face? What went through your mind in that moment? Why did you move it away? That's something I could only tell my psychiatrist. Thanks. Now, do you understand? John Miller was dangerous. His son is too. The same look in his eye. I'm worried about you. That look in his eyes you mentioned. What psychology manual is that in? I can't quite place it. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to. I just meant... Hold on. You believe him? About what? Faye. Yes. <laughs> no. You're certain Faye isn't a figment of a writer's... Uh, a psychopath's imagination? I'm not interfering in your job, Sheriff. Don't interfere in mine. Throughout my career, I've met a great deal of psychopaths. And believe me, when I know someone, I really know them. If there is a psychopath in this story, it's not Ed Miller. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So she's the psychopath. <laughs> Trying to get into Ed's house. Great music for this, though, although it is extremely slow moving. I know I've said that several times, but I mean, just like we're waiting here to do something, but nothing yet. Why? See once again. Hmm. Look at poor Faye trying to smile despite the pain. What kind of maniac wouldn't feel sorry for her? See, like this too. It's just a lot of delay. Like I said, story is getting better, but. Oh, that looks like it hurts a lot, Faye. Come in and I'll put some ice on you. How come you didn't call an ambulance, Faye? I tried to, but my battery died.
Wait, she sat down right in front of his house and did that? It's kind of funny. Since his window looks right out over this area. So what's her game? Why is she doing this? Why are you looking at me that way, kitty? I stole your blanket so now I'm the enemy, huh? Well, that's pretty dark, so she's... <laughs> Not yet. Got some but one day, dark alternative kitty. motives. You there? Have you eaten? I'm hungry. Should I come down and make you something? Something? My fave. Is it any good? But I'll just make something myself, if you don't mind. Interesting.
one out of five on my list of things to make sure he delivers. But I'll need a more secure base of operations. Interesting. Mmm, this wine is delicious, Faye. Plus, you won't hear me say it out loud, but it's making all my blood flow down into a certain part of my body. Mmm. Oh, wait a second. Find photos of his family. I got the spoon, I gotta go do something with it. Hey, smash the pill. Gotta drug him. back and forth. things like this making me go back and forth
find pictures of the family since it's on the list. I still have things to do. Faye, you in the kitchen? Just a minute, Ed, I'm getting changed. Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. Emilio okay. Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. Yeah, she's she's a bit nutty. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Miller. You have no idea how inspiring it is to see you in that cheap-ass, slutty little outfit. Mr. Miller? What undertaker did you murder and steal that suit from? Finally, time to smile again. Someone looks pleased. Am I interrupting a special moment? Huh? Consider it my way of saying thank you. Hmm. A toast? My favorite one's missing. The son of the Black Corsair. Emilio Salgari, right? Do you like Ed Miller? You know what? Me and that guy have history. Huh. So, what kind of history? Oh, hmm. The bad kind. At sees all.
Damn, Faye's gone. But she left her phone, so I can try and look for her. I need to look at his office, huh? <laughs> Sweetie, the more I get to know you, the surer I am. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll be back. I promise. Let's say I believe you, that Miller is innocent. Interesting. Where do we go from here, and what other leads do we have? Hmm? Let's find out if Faye really exists, or existed. I have the date she appeared, and the name of the agency she may have rented a car from. Sounds good? Weren't you not going to interfere with my work? Trust me, Sheriff. I trust you, Doctor. Kind of interesting playing both sides of the conversation at the same time. Faye's a psychopath. Trying to trap Ed. Good morning. How are you doing? Not even a hello. about her. Come up. <laughs> My aunt just heard about the kind of therapy we're doing and that it's not going too bad. <laughs> She's never been a huge fan of shrinks. She's 
kind of a sore loser, but she'll definitely get over it. Though, she seemed pleased with you up until now. Looks like you're a better loser than she is. I'm well versed in losing. What I'm bad at is winning. That's how you fix things. By offering to help me. Over and over again. But... But do I deserve that help? Huh? Do I deserve it? Don't I deserve to rot in jail? Hmm? Or an insane asylum? Excuse me. Or, or maybe... Maybe I should have jumped off a bridge. I'm dangerous. It'd be better for everybody. It might not seem that way with many people, but we're all a bit broken inside. And we all deserve help. The sheriff is out to get me. I don't blame him. Faye, Jenny, Samuel, Esther. When they searched your car, no bodies were found. They might still be alive. Tell me all about Faye. Even the smallest details could help, all right? Why don't we just... get that spiral going and... spare us my lies? Hmm? We need to know what you remember so we can understand why you forget. After that one night together, she disappeared, like she'd never existed. Hello? No last name, no number, no message, no address. Just her wine glass. It took me a while to wash it. I don't really know why. Funny, huh? As if it... Blah. Were you expecting her to come back? I wanted to get to know her, but the way she left made things pretty clear. But something much better happened. Remember that thing I said about looking out the window, focusing on something and, and letting my fingers free write? Yes, I believe the day you met Faye, you'd chosen... Mm, a flock of birds? Uh-huh. Yeah. Good memory. At least somebody around here doesn't need a spiral to remember things. Starting that day, I made it into a routine. Some days, something interesting would come out of it. 
Most others, nothing would. But I decided that my next book would be a collection of short stories or vignettes in the style of Bierce or Kafka. New book? How is it coming? I'll tell you later. A little over a month ago, about a year since Faye's first visit. I thought it was Samuel. We'd been playing a lot of chess, and we're supposed to pick up a game we'd started the night before. Night to be six, Sam. You're still screwed. to the door. What did you think when you saw her? I didn't think it was her, just someone who looked like her. But it wasn't the case. Her name is Jenny. She's your daughter. It wasn't surprising to you that she had the same name as your sister? I didn't even think about it. And so, <laughs> guess what she told me, Doctor? She asked you for money? For child support, maybe? Not even close. She said she was sure I was the father. That it would have been unfair not to tell me. That she didn't need my help or my money. But if I recognized her as my daughter, I could be in her life. And if you decide not to... It's fine. We'll leave right now, and you'll never see us again. But call us a taxi, please. You didn't call one, did you? That one you got right. And so, I looked at Jenny. I guess it goes without saying that I've never felt emotional around babies. And yet, I felt something. But, uh... Don't get the idea that I let my emotions take over. It's so easy to fool yourself in times like those. Okay. Of course, I didn't give Faye an answer. I was confused and I told her I needed time to give me a few days. I said they could stay with me instead of at a motel. You didn't let Faye and Jenny stay in the main house? It's just my room there. About ten years ago, when I moved back in, Aunt Claire started visiting me a lot. So I converted the old garage into a guest house. My aunt is better if kept at a safe distance.
Interesting. After that first night, did anything ever happen again between you two? No, no. I don't know. It was all so strange, as if we were suddenly 20 years older. It would have been hard for me to see her that way. Not to mention how efficient we were the first time. She never told you her last name? No last name, no address. I would have told the police. I didn't ask her for her number either. She never left the house that whole time and... <laughs> I guess we were past that stage by that point. Did she tell you why she disappeared that first night? Did she apologize? No, and I didn't ask her to. You have any idea how many times I've done that? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the gist of it. Did she tell you anything about her life? Apparently, she was about to start a master's in something like what you did, I guess. But she had to hit the brakes because of her pregnancy. Only child, father a widower, pretty well off, pretty old and hoping for grandkids. That means she left? Or did she move into the house? How long were they here? I've been thinking back on it these days, and I'd say it was exactly three weeks. They got here on a Sunday, and as you know, they disappeared on a Sunday. Are you okay? Do you want to take a break? No. Did Faye do anything strange? Anything that took you aback? Uh, no. She spent the whole day with the baby, taking care of her, playing. <laughs> it sounds dumb, but I was even a little jealous. We're all dumb. When you slept together the first night, she said she was on birth control, didn't she? Did you talk about it afterwards? She was sure she hadn't skipped a single day. But, of course, no method is 100% effective. A young girl single with an unwanted pregnancy she didn't think about getting an abortion she told me that she was going to at first but after a few days <laughs> i think i get it hmm. 
interesting. Anyway, the first two weeks felt good. But then, things got warped. Like my head started to rebel. Like if it was pissed off that I was doing well. Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. Why'd you do it, sweetie? Mom? I love you, Mom. I miss you. We're doomed because of you, sweetie. You're no better than him. Was it a recurring nightmare? Every night. Always the same message. And the days weren't much better. I'd wake up exhausted, couldn't focus on anything. For years I hadn't thought about them constantly. I hadn't relived their deaths over and over again. Until... Ed! 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 Huh? Jenny's temperature is 103.6. Huh? There's a first aid kit in your bathroom cabinet. It should have everything. Did you check if there was any Advil? She's a baby, Ed. Let's go to the hospital. Get dressed. I'm unlocking your car. I'll wait for you in there.
Why'd you take so long? I wasn't about to leave in my pajamas. You take that long to change? <sighs> okay, sorry. I'm just stressed out. Here. Oh, no. I'll get them. Don't worry. And that's it? Until I woke up on the bridge. Yeah. So wait a second, you weren't trashed or anything? Or drunk? It was like another one of my nightmares. It's clear as day that my car plunged down into the canyon. That the truck driver found me on the bridge. But what I remember seeing... is my dad once again choosing to abandon me. I tried to reach him without him noticing me, but... Interesting. Well, we both know what I remember. Should we try what I forget? See if we can do these real quick. Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. Why'd you do it, sweetie? That was a little faster than the first time. <laughs> Focus on your sister's face, please. Is there anything unusual about it? Her eyes. They're brown. They'd always been blue. And do you remember what color face baby's eyes are? Brown. Focus on your mother's face, please. Focus on her and tell me what you see. She has face, face. So she was haunting, drugging and haunting you, huh? 
But she's my mom. Can you see anything unusual outside? No, there's nothing weird. The moon, the stars, the lake, everything's normal. Nothing missing or extra. Nothing. Are those the clothes you were wearing that day? Yes. The exact same ones? The exact same ones. Is there anything odd about the bathroom? Anything out of place? No. Everything is normal. Do you remember what time you went to bed that night? Around 11? Very early for me, but I was exhausted. Why were you exhausted? Are you sure those tire marks were made by your car? Could be. Next to the marks, are there any footprints? No, the ground is really dry. Can you make out your father's features? He's really far away. Do you recognize your father, his face? His back is to me. And his body? He looks a little shorter. Focus on your feelings, on your body. It's weird. I'm exhausted and at the same time full of energy. My head hurts, my neck, my eyes feel heavy and tired. Drugged, definitely drugged. <laughs> oh, running a bit long. Okay. <sighs> we'll have to cut it short or stop here shortly. <sighs> Thank you. 
So? So? <laughs> what did I tell you? Doctor, you're scaring me. Well, that's just how she is. Waits a long time to talk. Julia? When we dream, we lose some of the details. We, we see certain things extremely clearly, but the rest tend to be out of focus. You remember very concrete details, including the exact time down to the minute. Doing the math, the first time you dreamt about your mother, you should have been in stage two of NREM sleep. The probability of dreaming in that, during that phase is minimal. Am I supposed to be understanding something of all that? You weren't dreaming. We're going to call it there. Um, like and subscribe. Um, and yeah. It's. Looks like I'm playing as Faye now. But we'll have to do that some other time. It's been over an hour already. So. It's time for me to make me some lunch. All right. Um, but yeah, if you are watching this, even if you have already subscribed, at least drop a like. Or if you don't want to subscribe and you didn't like it, uh, at least I wanted to thank you for watching. Um, but yeah, have a good one. Until next time.